So just to go over a couple of the epilepsy syndromes re related to what part of their brain is affected. And sometimes depending on what where a tumor may be, people may be experiencing seizures and symptoms that are localization related, meaning that depending on what part of the brain is affected, the seizures present in certain ways. Um, again, just to touch on temporal lobe epilepsy, because this is um, the largest subgroup of a brain abnormality that is very amenable to surgery. And that's why um, it's important to pick up people who fall in this category because they may have a surgical, um, they may have a surgical um, option. So usually this group, there's, there is a history of febrile seizures in childhood followed by a seizure-free interval. And it's very interesting because when they come to you in their teens or later in their early 20s, that they've had all these stomach issues. They've had things that people could never explain. Why you know, they were treated for possible GERD or append like whatever. Like they, it was more of a GI kind of complaint all through their young you know, kids. They're like, oh, my tummy hurts, my tummy hurts. And they can't really explain what it is. And there's no specific cause that was found. It's interesting because sometimes when you go back in the history that you find that they were probably having auras of seizures. And they usually describe this kind of rising sensation in their tummy that's not explained otherwise. And these are complex partial seizures. So the ones where they stop what they're doing, have either picking behavior or automatisms where they're lip smacking or chewing and then go into stiffening and possibly generalizing into a full seizure. Okay, shifting gears a little bit. So if your frontal lobe is um, affected, motor, um, motor behaviors are, can be automatism, tonic, clonic, partial, anything can happen with frontal lobe epilepsy. Um, sometimes they're very odd behaviors. When people are having seizures, they can have their legs up in the air and look like they're kicking or bicycling. So that's not typically such a common thing with seizures where movements are so stereotyped to doing something, but frontal lobe epilepsy can look like that. Parietal lobe, this is where your sensation is controlled. So people generally feel sensory symptoms tingling, burning, electrical kind of sensations in the limb that is affected. Occipital lobe seizures or occipital lobe epilepsy, these are the things that affect your vision. So people might see shapes that are not there. They may um, see colors or images that are not there. Sometimes they could have transient blindness that they're, they, they um, or visual obscurations where they see things like geometrical patterns or a flash of lightning in their visual fields during the seizure. And sometimes there could be um, a little bit of involvement of the eyes or the head to one side during these seizures. 